I don't care how good you are. I don't care how talented you are. I don't care how much you work on yourself. There are some times when things aren't going to go right. There are times when anything that can happen will happen. Life happens. The unexpected. The uncalled for. The unintentional. We've been damaged emotionally. Damaged spiritually. It may be your business. It may be your heart that is broken today. It may be the number in your bank account that is screaming, you are broke. You can break physically, you can break mentally, you can break your heart, you can break your spirit, and all of those are gonna leave a mark. But the mark that they leave can be the mark of victory. It is staying with the breaking that produces the blessing. It is not what you go through that determines where you end up. It's who you listen to. I think right now you are walking through a valley between two voices. One is wisdom, one is worry, one is gratitude, one is grumbling, one is blame, one is faith. Because every time you break and in every way that you break, while it's a chance for you to give up and for you to fall apart, but there's also opportunity to get stronger and get smarter and get faster and get tougher and get more stable and get more resilient and get better. What I need you to do is I need you to find a reason to keep going. And if you can find a reason to keep going, I know you're strong enough to do it because you're human. And every human has what it takes to get past whatever they're going through if they decide to. Push through it. Push through it. Tragedy and trials come to everybody. Only the strong survive. The fight isn't over. The fight is just beginning. Opportunity to show the world what you are really made of. I need you to look at that sickness that's going on in your life right now, whatever it is. I want you to say, I can beat it. I can beat it. I will beat it. I must. I got a family live for. I ain't through yet. My life ain't over yet. There's some things in life you don't need no degree for, you don't need no money for, you don't need no support for. There's something in life you just gonna get through when you tell yourself, I'm gonna get through this. And I'm not retreating. I'm not running. I don't care what they say on paper. I don't care if you say we outnumbered. We live by this and we die by this. We don't retreat. We don't run. We gonna stand and we gonna live and we gonna die by what we stand for and everybody gonna know what we represent and what we're a part of. I got staying power. I got staying power. Be encouraged today. That no matter what you walk through. No matter how broken your marriage is. No matter how many times you fail. There is within you a spirit that is greater than whatever is going on around you. If you would be willing to fight your way through this battle. Fight your way through cancer. Fight your way through that academic struggle. Fight your way through divorce. Fight your way through it. If you are willing to fight your way through that stinging career. Fight your way through boxing. Fight your way through football. I'm telling you at the end of the fight is going to come victory. And out of that dismal and wretched place. As you rise above what you were and as you take the form of who you are supposed to be. You will see that in the very act of standing up. In the very act of fighting on. You will become and you will remain unbroken. Unbroken. Ladies and gentlemen. Today we gather not just to talk. But to embark on an enlightening exploration about the morning habits of successful individuals. Now, let me start by asking you a simple question. Have you ever wondered why some people achieve remarkable success while others equally talented and capable struggle to reach their goals? The answer often lies in their daily routines, particularly those crucial hours of the morning. The first habit, and perhaps the cornerstone of success, is early rising. The early bird catches the worm, as the old saying goes, and it couldn't be truer. Waking up early is not just about beating the clock. It's a symbol of discipline, a declaration that your dreams and goals are worth sacrificing a few extra minutes of sleep. But it's more than just getting up. It's about what you do with that time. Successful people don't just wake up early. They wake up with a purpose. So how do you spend your first hour after waking up? Do you rush through the morning? Or do you take time to prepare mentally and physically for the day ahead? Now the second habit is reflection and planning. This habit is about taking a moment of calm before the storm of the day's activities. Reflect on what you've achieved, where you're headed, and what needs to be done today to move closer to your goal. But let's be clear, reflection isn't just daydreaming about future success. It's a strategic review of your past actions and their outcomes. It's asking yourself, what worked? What didn't? What can I do better today? This kind of reflection turns experience into insight and insight is the bedrock of all great achievements. Moving on, the third habit is exercise. I'm not necessarily talking about running a marathon every morning or lifting weights fit for a professional athlete. No, it's about getting the blood flowing, waking up your body, and most importantly, setting a tone of discipline and self-care for the day. 
Whether it's a brisk walk, a series of stretches, or a short yoga session, the goal is to awaken your body and mind. Exercise in the morning is a catalyst. It kickstarts your metabolism, sharpens your focus, and sets a productive rhythm for the day. The fourth habit is nourishment. Successful people understand that the body is their instrument and they treat it with care. A nutritious breakfast is not an afterthought. It's a priority. It's the fuel that powers the machinery of their success. But it's not just about what you eat. It's also about feeding your mind. What do you read or listen during breakfast? Is it something that uplifts you, educates you, or inspires you? Remember, your mind, just like your body, needs nourishment to function at its best. And finally, the fifth habit is setting daily goals. Successful individuals don't leave their day to chance. They set clear achievable goals for each day. These goals are not just to-do lists. They are commitments. They are promises to themselves. Each completed goal is a step towards their larger vision. But here's the key. These goals are specific and actionable. They're not, I will work on my project. There I will complete the first three steps of my pro clarity breeds action, and action breeds results. So, let me ask you, what do your morning habits say about you? Do they reflect the habits of success, or are they pulling you away from your potential? Remember, every morning is a new opportunity to set the stage for a successful day. It's a fresh start, a clean slate, a chance to build the life you've always wanted. The question is, will you seize that opportunity or will you let it slip away? The choice is always is yours. In conclusion, let's remember that our daily habits are more than just routines. They are the threads from which the tapestry of our lives is woven. Each day is a new stroke on the canvas of our journey. Make it count, make it a masterpiece. Thank you for sharing this time with me and may your mornings be the start of days filled with purpose, achievement, and fulfillment. Now, let's circle back to the first habit, and the first habit is a sense of peace and potential in the early morning hours, a feeling that the world is asleep and you have a head start. It's not just about the extra time, it's about the quality of that time. The stillness of the morning offers a clarity that tends to get lost in the noise of the day. It's a time for undisturbed thought, for planning without distraction, but how do you become an early riser? Start by setting a specific goal for your wake-up time and then create a motivating reason to get up. A project you're passionate about, a workout you enjoy, or even a few moments of solitude to savor a cup of coffee. Gradually, your body and mind will align with this new pattern and it will become a natural part of your life. Reflecting on the second habit, reflection and planning, let's understand that this is not just a morning routine. It's a life strategy. It's about taking stock of your life, not just once a year as a resolution, but every day as a path to constant improvement. Think of it as a daily navigation check on your journey to success. Ask yourself, am I on course? What adjustments do I need to make? This habit is about aligning your daily actions with your long-term vision. It ensures that every day you are moving forward, not just moving. Regarding exercise, the third habit, let's remember that physical activity is not just about physical health. It's about mental and emotional well-being. A morning workout releases endorphins. The bodies feel good chemicals. It's a natural mood booster and stress reliever. But there's more to it. Completing a morning workout gives you a sense of accomplishment that carries through the rest of your day. It's a victory in the first battle of the day and it sets the tone for more victories. Remember, the goal is consistency, not intensity. Find an activity you enjoy and it will become less of a chore and more of a cherished part of your morning. On nourishment, the fourth habit. It's important to realize that what you put into your body and mind in the morning sets the tone for the entire day. A healthy breakfast fuels your body, but what about your mind? How are you fueling it? Consider listening to a motivational podcast, reading a chapter of an inspiring book, or even journaling your thoughts and intentions for the day. This mental nourishment is just as important as physical nourishment. It's about feeding your mind with positivity, knowledge, and inspiration. Lastly, the habit of setting daily goals is about taking control of your day. It's about moving from being reactive to being proactive. Each morning identify the key tasks that will bring you closer to your goals. But here's a crucial tip. Prioritize these tasks. Not all tasks are created equal. Focus on the ones with the highest impact and tackle them first. This approach not only ensures that you're making the most of your time, but it also brings a sense of accomplishment and momentum. Now let's take a moment to consider the cumulative effect of these habits. 
Imagine the impact of waking up each day with purpose and clarity, fueled by a healthy body and mind, focused on high-impact tasks that align with your goals. This is not just a recipe for a successful day. It's a blueprint for a successful life. But remember, the journey to integrating these habits into your life is a process. It's about making small, consistent changes. Don't try to overhaul your entire routine overnight. Start with one habit, master it, and then move on to the next. Each small victory will build your confidence and reinforce your commitment. Now consider this. Each habit we've discussed is a thread in the larger tapestry of our lives. When woven together with intention and purpose, they create a picture of success. But success is not just about what we achieve. It's about who we become in the process. Let's revisit the first habit, early rising, and add another layer to it. It's not just about waking up early. It's about waking up with a sense of gratitude. Start each day with a moment to appreciate the new opportunity that each morning brings. Gratitude sets a positive tone for the day, shifting your mindset from what you lack to what you have. It's about seeing the abundance around you, the potential in each day. It's a simple practice, but its effects are profound. Expanding further on reflection and planning, it's crucial to understand that this habit is the bridge between your dreams and your reality. It's easy to dream big, but turning those dreams into reality requires daily action. Each morning ask yourself, what's the one thing I can do today that will bring me closer to my goal? This question simplifies your focus and clarifies your actions. It's about identifying the essential and eliminating the trivial. Regarding exercise, let's delve a bit deeper. Physical activity in the morning is a metaphor for life. It's about pushing past comfort, challenging yourself, and growing stronger. It's a daily reminder that you are capable of more than you think. When you push your body, you push your mind, you learn discipline, resilience, and the power of persistence. These are qualities that translate into every area of your life. When we talk about nourishment, it's not just physical and mental. It's also emotional nourishment. The morning is a perfect time to connect with your emotions and set a positive emotional tone for the day. This could be through meditation, listening to uplifting music, or engaging in an activity that brings you joy. Emotional nourishment is about starting your day from a place of peace and contentment, which then radiates through all your interactions. And on the point of setting daily goals, let's go one step further. It's not just about the goals themselves. It's about the commitment to excellence they represent. Each goal you set and achieve is a testament to your commitment to your own personal excellence. It's a statement that you are not content with mediocrity, that you are striving to be the best version of yourself. This commitment to excellence becomes a beacon that guides all your actions. Now, let's talk about the synergy of these habits. When combined, they create a rhythm to your life, a cadence that propels you forward. They transform not just your mornings, but your entire day and eventually your entire life. It's about creating a momentum that carries you through challenges and propels you towards your goals. But let's not forget the most crucial part. These habits must be tailored to your individual life. What works for one person may not work for another. The key is to take these principles and adapt them to your circumstances, your goals, and your aspirations. It's about making these habits your own. As we delve deeper into the essence of these habits, it's essential to understand that they are more than just routines. They are rituals that set the stage for excellence. They are not tasks to be checked off a list, but powerful practices that shape our character, our mindset, and ultimately our destiny. Let's further explore the concept of early rising. This habit is about more than just discipline. It's about embracing the gift of time. Each additional hour in the morning is an opportunity to do something meaningful, something that contributes to your personal and professional growth. Think about the quiet hours of the morning as a sanctuary, where you can pursue a passion, develop a skill, or simply find a moment of peace in a busy life. It's a time to be with yourself, to listen to your thoughts, and to align your actions with your deeper values. Expanding on reflection and planning. It's important to see this habit as a cornerstone of mindfulness. It's not just about reviewing tasks or setting goals. It's about being present in the moment and conscious of your life's direction. Each morning, give yourself the gift of clarity by visualizing the day ahead. Picture yourself achieving your goals, overcoming challenges and living the day with purpose and intention. This visualization not only prepares you mentally, but also emotionally. As for exercise, let's understand its deeper impact. Mooring exercise is a celebration of your health and a commitment to your vitality. It's about honoring your body, 
the only vessel you have for this life journey. When you exercise, you're saying to yourself, I value my health, I respect my body, and I am committed to taking care of it. This habit creates a ripple effect, influencing your choices throughout the day, leading to healthier eating, better stress management, and a more balanced lifestyle. In terms of nourishment, let's consider it as a form of self-respect. Choosing to nourish your body with healthy food and your mind with positive thoughts is a way of saying, I am worth the effort. It's about making conscious choices that align with your well-being and goals. The quality of your breakfast reflects the quality of your self-esteem. Likewise, the quality of your mental consumption, the ideas, thoughts, and information you absorb shapes your beliefs and attitudes. Regarding setting daily goals, this habit is about mastery of your time and focus. It's a deliberate act of taking charge of your day rather than letting the day control you. Each goal you set is a step towards mastery in your personal and professional life. It's about breaking down your grand visions into manageable, actionable steps. By doing this, you turn the abstract into the concrete and the impossible becomes possible. Let's also consider the interconnectedness of these habits. They are not isolated actions, but interconnected practices that feed into each other. Picking up early gives you time for reflection. Reflection leads to clarity, which makes your exercise more purposeful. Exercise enhances your mental and physical well-being, making your nourishment choices more impactful. And all these lead to a more focused and productive approach to your daily goals. It's a virtuous cycle where each habit reinforces the others. In conclusion, these morning habits are not just steps towards success. They are steps towards a more fulfilled, balanced and meaningful life. They are about taking control of your day from the very start, setting the tone for how you live each moment. Remember, each morning is not just another day. It's a fresh opportunity to create the life you desire and deserve. Let's take another look at early rising, but with a focus on the mental and emotional benefits. Rising early provides not just more hours in your day, but a unique kind of mental clarity and calm. In those early hours when the world is still, your mind is less cluttered with the day's worries and more open to creativity and problem-solving. This time can become a sanctuary for undisturbed thought, where ideas can grow without the interruptions of daily life. For many successful people, these early hours are when breakthrough ideas emerge and solutions reveal themselves. Now, when we revisit reflection and planning, let's understand its role in cultivating a growth mindset. This habit is not merely about organizing your day. It's about orienting your mind towards continuous improvement. Each morning, as you reflect on your goals and plan your actions, you are reinforcing a mindset that embraces challenges, learns from failures, and celebrates growth. It's a time to ask yourself not just what you need to do, but who you need to become to achieve your goals. This habit helps you align your daily actions with the evolving vision of your best self. Expanding further on exercise, it's important to recognize its role in building mental toughness and resilience. Morning exercise is not only a physical challenge, it's a mental one. It's about pushing through discomfort, setting personal records, and overcoming the inertia of a warm bed. Each morning that you choose to exercise, you're not just training your body. You're training your mind to say yes at the challenges, to embrace discomfort for growth, and to persevere in the face of obstacles. This mental fortitude is invaluable in every aspect of life. Regarding nourishment, let's think of it as an act of self-awareness and mindfulness. What you choose to eat and feed your mind in the morning sets the tone for the choices you make throughout the day. It's not just about physical health. It's about making choices that reflect your priorities and values. Similarly, consuming positive and enriching content in the morning, whether it's reading, listening, or watching, primes your mind for positivity and productivity. It's about being mindful of not just what you consume, but also why you consume it. And concerning setting daily goals, let's see this habit as a practice of intentionality and focus. In a world filled with distractions, setting specific, actionable goals each morning is a way of declaring your priorities. It's about recognizing that time is your most valuable resource and choosing to spend it on what truly matters. By setting goals, you are not just organizing your day. You are taking a stand against the trivial and the unimportant. You are choosing to invest your time, energy, and talents in pursuits that are worthy of them. Finally, let's consider the synergy of these habits. Together, they form a holistic approach to living a life of purpose, health, and fulfillment. They are interconnected practices that build upon each other, 
creating a strong foundation for personal and professional success. Each habit reinforces and amplifies the others, creating a powerful momentum that can carry you through the toughest of days. Consider the profound tranquility of early rising. This habit transcends mere discipline. It's a communion with the quieter, more reflective parts of our being. In those first golden rays of dawn, there's a unique energy, a sense of renewal and possibilities. It's in this serenity that we find our most profound moments of creativity and clarity. Think of these early hours as a sacred time for your soul, a period where you can connect deeply with your inner self. Undisturbed by the world's demands, it's a time to meditate, to write, to think deeply, or to simply be, to exist in harmony with the quiet of the universe. Now let's explore reflection and planning more deeply. This habit is not just a strategic exercise. It's a form of self-dialogue and affirmation. It's a time when you converse with your inner self about your dreams, goals, and the paths to achieve them. It's an opportunity to reaffirm your commitment to your values and vision. When you plan your day, you're not just organizing tasks, you're aligning your daily actions with your long-term aspirations. This alignment is crucial for maintaining focus and direction in a world brimming with distractions and diversions. Expanding on exercise, let's understand its role in establishing a pattern of overcoming obstacles. Morning exercise, particularly when it's challenging, serves as a daily reminder that we are capable of facing and conquering challenges. Each drop of sweat, every moment of exertion, is a testament to our resilience and determination. This habitual overcoming of physical challenges lays the foundation for mental and emotional strength. It fortifies our ability to confront and surmount the day's challenges, be they in our personal lives, our professional endeavors, or in the pursuit of our deepest passions. Regarding nourishment, let's see it as a broader metaphor. Just as we choose wholesome foods to energize our bodies, we must also be selective about the mental and emotional foods we consume. What we watch, listen to, read, and the conversations we engage in all form part of our mental diet. A diet rich in positivity, knowledge and inspiration leads to a healthy, vibrant mind. Contrastingly, a diet laden with negativity, gossip, and triviality breeds a cluttered, anxious mind. Choices we make in our mental consumption have a profound impact on our attitudes, beliefs, and ultimately, our actions. Now for setting daily goals, let's consider this as a practice of sculpting our day. Each goal is like a chisel strike in the marble of our time, gradually revealing the masterpiece of our day. These goals are commitments we make to ourselves, promises that today we will take tangible steps towards our greater vision. They bring structure and focus to our day, ensuring that we are not merely busy, but productive and purposeful. They enable us to measure progress, not just in terms of tasks completed, but in terms of closer alignment, with our ultimate life goals let's also contemplate the integration of these habits when harmoniously combined they form a powerful synergy each enhancing the effectiveness of the other's early rising provides the time and tranquility for reflection reflection informs and enriches our planning our plans motivate and direct our morning exercise exercise strengthens and energizes our body and mind making our nourishment choices more impactful. And all these collectively empower us to pursue our daily goals with vigor, focus, and a heightened sense of purpose. Furthermore, these morning habits are a microcosm of the principles that lead to a successful and fulfilling life. They are about more than just the actions we take. They are about the mindset and attitudes we cultivate. They teach us discipline, focus, resilience, self-care, and intentionality. They encourage us to be present to live each moment with purpose and to continuously strive towards our personal and professional aspirations. The story of silence and solitude stands paramount, especially in the early hours of the morning. Let's explore the significance of embracing quietude in these early hours, for it is in this silence that we find the keys to mental clarity and emotional balance. Imagine the world before dawn, a time when the hustle of humanity is still at rest. The stars still twinkle in the pre-dawn sky and the moon casts a gentle glow. It is in this tranquil setting that the power of silence and solitude begins to unfold its magic. This time, untouched by the demands of daily life, offers a rare opportunity for introspection and contemplation. It's a sacred period where one can connect with the deeper self away from the distractions and noises that fill the rest of our waking hours. In these quiet moments, the mind finds a unique clarity. Thoughts that are usually scattered and fragmented during the day begin to align and coalesce. It's like watching the pieces of a puzzle fall effortlessly into place. 
Solutions to problems appear with ease. Creative ideas flow like a gentle stream in the mind, in its serene state, can ponder the profound questions of life. This clarity that we find in solitude is not just about solving problems or generating ideas. It's about understanding ourselves better. It's in these silent hours that we can hear the whispers of our innermost desires and fears, hopes and dreams, uncolored by the world's expectations and judgments. But the power of early morning silence isn't just about mental clarity. It's equally about emotional balance. In the stillness of dawn, there's a sense of peace that permeates the air, a kind of tranquility that seeps into the soul. This peace is a biome for the often turbulent emotions that we experience in our daily lives. It's a time to process feelings, to sit with them and to understand them without the external pressure to react or respond. In these quiet hours, we can find a sense of grounding, a connection to something larger and more enduring than our fleeting worries and anxieties. Furthermore, the solitude of early morning allows us to build a foundation of inner strength. It's a time to fortify ourselves for the day ahead, to gather our resources and energies. Like a warrior preparing for battle, we use these solitary moments to equip ourselves mentally and emotionally. This preparation is not just about building resilience against the challenges we might face. It's also about cultivating an inner calm that we carry with us throughout the day. But this calmness becomes our shield, our protective armor against the chaos and noise of the world. In embracing the power of silence and solitude, we also learn the art of being alone without being lonely. There's a profound difference between the two. Loneliness is an emotional response to a lack of connection, but being alone, especially in the context of these early hours, is a choice. It's a conscious decision to seek out the company of the self to enjoy one's own presence. In these moments, we become our own best friend, confidant, and counselor. The beauty of this early morning solitude is that it's available to everyone. It doesn't require a special setting or circumstance. Whether you live in a bustling city or a quiet countryside, the early hours offer the same blanket of calm and quiet. It's a democratic gift, waiting to be unwrapped by anyone who chooses to rise before the rest of the world. But embracing this silence and solitude requires a shift in perspective. In a world that often equates busyness with importance and noise with productivity, Choosing quiet and solitude can seem counterintuitive, even indulgent. Yet it's in these moments of quietude that we often find our greatest insights and inspirations. History is replete with thinkers, artists and leaders who have extolled the virtues of early morning solitude. They understood that this time is not wasted. Rather, it's invested, invested in the self, in personal growth and understanding. As we draw to the close of our exploration into the power of silence and solitude, especially in the sanctity of morning hours. Let us take a moment to reflect on the profound impact this practice can have on our lives. It's a journey that transforms not just our mornings, but every aspect of our day-to-day -day existence. Consider the morning silence as a canvas. Each day as the sun begins its ascent, we are presented with a blank canvas. How we choose to paint on this canvas sets the tone for the rest of our day. In the quietude of dawn, with our thoughts and emotions in a state of clear reflection, we have the unique opportunity to paint a picture of our day that aligns with our deepest values and aspirations. It's in these moments that we can thoughtfully plot out our actions, ensuring that each stroke on this canvas is purposeful and meaningful. This practice of embracing silence and solitude goes beyond mere self-reflection. It is a form of self-honoring. It is acknowledging that our inner voice often drowned out by the cacophony of our busy lives, deserves to be heard. It's recognizing that in the quiet, we can find wisdom, strength, and a sense of inner peace that carries us through the chaos of our day. In these moments of solitude, we learn to value our own company, to enjoy the richness of our inner world, and to cultivate a relationship with ourselves that is nurturing and supportive. Moreover, this early morning ritual becomes a space for creative evasion. The mind in its rested state is fertile ground for ideas to germinate and grow. Many great thinkers, writers, and artists have attributed their best work to the insights gained during these early undisturbed hours. It's a time when our intuition speaks loudest, offering guidance and inspiration that are often lost in the noise of the day. However, embracing silence and solitude is not always easy. In our fast-paced, connected world, being alone with our thoughts can be intimidating, even daunting. We have become accustomed to constant stimulation and distraction. 
Learning to be comfortable in silence, to embrace the stillness, requires patience and practice. It is a skill that we cultivate over time, a habit that grows stronger with each passing day. As we get accustomed to this practice, we begin to see its effects spill over into other areas of our lives. Relationships improve as we become more centered and self-aware. Decision-making becomes more deliberate and thoughtful. Stress levels decrease as we learn to find peace within ourselves. Regardless of external circumstances, we become more present, more engaged with the world around us, and more attuned to life's subtleties and nuances. Furthermore, this morning practice of silence and solitude becomes a cornerstone for personal growth and self-improvement. It is a time to set goals, not just for the day, but for life. It's an opportunity to assess our progress, to celebrate our victories, and to learn from our setbacks. Each morning becomes a checkpoint on our journey to self-actualization, a moment to realign our actions with our ultimate life goals. In a deeper sense, this practice is about finding harmony within ourselves and with the world. It's about understanding that while we cannot control everything that happens in life, we can control our responses. The serenity we cultivate in our morning solitude equips us with the grace to face life's challenges with pause and resilience. In closing, let us not underestimate the power of silence and solitude, especially in the early morning hours. It's a gift we give ourselves, a time to recharge, reflect, and realign. As we go forward, let us make a conscious effort to incorporate this practice into our daily routine. Let it be our sanctuary, our haven of peace and clarity. May the stillness of the morning bring us closer to our true selves, guiding us toward a life of purpose, fulfillment, and inner peace.